hello guys welcome to my channel this is the seventh tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out the bold italic and underline tags in html and uh, as you can see i have a file opened in my text editor notepad plus plus i've given it the name tutorial hyphen seven dot html and uh, on line one in this uh, file i have the doc type declaration and then between the html uh, tags i have the head section in which i have the title of my web page which is the bold italic and underline tags and in the body section I have three paragraphs and uh, the first paragraph has a text this will be in bold the second paragraph has the text this will be in italic the third paragraph will have the text uh, this will be underlined right so uh, there are three paragraphs and let me show you guys how this uh, page looks when I open it in Google Chrome so this is how it looks and you know uh, it's very obvious that the style in which the text is presented in in each paragraph is different right so the first uh, paragraph has text or in bold the second one has text in italic and the third one has text in uh, you know in the underlined mode and the way you achieve uh, you know this is very simple i'll show you my file now and uh, to have text in bold you have to use the b tag right that's what it's called some people call it the bold tag but you know you just have to put in the alphabet b just as you use the alphabet P for paragraph, you use the alphabet B for bold. So you have the opening B tag and the closing B tag between the opening and closing P tags. And uh, this will give you the bold effect. To have the italic effect, you have to use the alphabet I. So it's the I tag. And then to have the effect, uh, the underlined effect, you have to use the alphabet U, right? So after the paragraph tag, you have the opening underlined tag. Um, and then you have the closing underline tag and the uh, closing paragraph tag. So remember that the sequence has to be uh, opposite. So you have uh, P as the opening tag here and U as the second tag. So you have to close it in the reverse way. You have to first have the closing U tag and then the closing P tag, right? So that's it for uh, this tutorial. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss uh, some more HTML, more tags, more features. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you soon.